Hi, Paul. Hope you're well and welcome to your lesson. So uh, we're not quite ready to move on. We've got to refine something. But before we do that, let's start with what's looking really good. We're not falling forwards towards the ball anymore. So we can see that right there. You're doing a much better job with that foot movement, not falling towards the ball. That's helping you get into a better top of back swing position. And that's therefore giving you way more space on the way down. So that's awesome. The thing that we need to refine is your takeaways. So if I draw a zone up, a pizza slice up, um, and I'm actually going to get rid of the front on view because we don't really need it right now because things are looking good there um, for what we've been working on so far. So I'm going to get rid of the front on view. So we're going to use Colin Morikawa, but as you can see, I've switched him around to be a lefty to make it easier for yourself to see. So if I draw these sort of same lines on, so I'm going to call this the pizza slice. Now, as a general rule, the more we swing inside of this pizza slice, the easier it's going to be to control the club. So if I take you back in your takeaway position, what do you notice right here? The club head, as much as it's a little blurry, is roughly around here. It is outside of the pizza slice. And the way that this has happened is by your hands just working a little bit too far away from your body. So you see how they're sort of dragging along that line right there? So they're just disconnecting away from your body. This causes the club head just to get outside of that pizza slice very, very early on. Now, if we take a look at somebody like Colin, let's take a look at Colin as he moves his club uh, back. And you can see he's keeping that club in the pizza slice right there, slap bang in the middle. Now, if we just take a look at Colin's hands relative to his trail leg right here and yours, we can see yours are a lot further away. So essentially, we're just getting a little bit disconnected. As well as that, if we look at Colin right here, his arm hangs slightly inwards. Yours hangs slightly outwards, maybe straight across or maybe just slightly outwards right there. But essentially, it's in a position to where you're getting a little disconnected in the takeaway. Now, as a byproduct, if I then take you back to this position, if we look at where your hands are at lead arm parallel right here, you can see they're in the center of your chest. If we look at Collins right here, they're a little bit closer to, say, his trail armpit right here in his swing. So this puts his hands right in the middle of the pizza zone. Yours are just a little bit deeper right there. So because of this, this can sometimes create, I know you were saying you're getting a little bit too out to in. Well, if your hands work a little bit too far out and away from you towards the top part of that zone, um, then or the club head is outside of the, the zone in the takeaway, then you're going to see you're going to want to naturally come down steeper, which is going to get you hitting sort of those fades. So we just got to take control of that takeaway. And as you can see with Colin, he comes back down perfectly in the pizza zone. Boom, nice consistent shots. You do do a good job of coming back down in the pizza zone, but it just takes... Um, kind of timing and a little bit of manipulation to get it back into the pizza zone uh, and make it easier. So what we're going to do is work on the takeaway. So let's jump over to the final video and go through that over there. Hi, Paul. Hope you're well and welcome to your lesson. So we're not quite ready to move on yet. One thing that I would say you're doing very well on is you're pivoting way better. So you're not falling forwards anywhere near as much. Uh, got some cool data laid down the line that I'll show you, but right now I don't need to see it. The issue that we're seeing in your swing, and this is where the slice would have come from, is as you're setting up to the ball and take the club back, your hands drift too far away from your body. Therefore, at lead arm parallel to the ground, your hands are in front of your chest. And as you then come down, if you come down the same route, you'll be a little bit too steep swinging out to in on the ball, hitting that sort of over uh, fade, uh, making it a little bit more difficult to control. So what we need to do is the same thing as what we did in the first lesson, where we keep the cup in the left wrist. But I want you to place the T in the butt end of the grip like so. Now, I want you to imagine as you take this club back, that you try and get that T close to your trail pocket right here. So it'll feel like it gets a little closer to the trail pocket. You can see when I do that and I keep the cup in that lead wrist, how it gets that club back in a much better position set it up, I can use the T to point down there, all the way to the top and all the way down. So I feel like as you take it back, the butt end of the grip or the T points more towards that trail pocket and it gets closer and that's gonna help you have your hands arc a little bit more in. If it widens that gap, my arms are gonna separate away from me, things are gonna be a lot harder. So that's just a really simple small drill that's gonna help you refine it. We gotta get these things perfect before we move on.